In this video, I'm going to be talking about my electronic and navigation system for hiking the Pacific Crest Trail. And if you missed it, I did post a general overview video about my gear, the Big Four, and um, just overviewing my different systems. And this is one of the systems I mentioned. And now we're going to go, going to go uh, more in detail. So um, I have all of my electronics in a Hyperlite stuff sack and it's also a pillow so what's great about this and I mentioned that also in the overview video is if you unzip it and invert it inside is a really nice fabric for sleeping um, so you invert it stuff it with a jacket or something and it becomes a pillow so that's the stuff sack I'm using for my electronic gear um, and my navigation gear so first and I believe most importantly I am using to um, just for peace of mind and so uh, people I love can track me and see where I am can also communicate with me it's very much like testing uh, texting excuse me is this Garmin inReach um, it's a little pricey but the peace of mind I think is worth it and with it you can um, even from month to month buy their service which I am paying and there's different degrees of depending on what you need so if you only need to send um, 40 messages in a month you pay a little bit less if you want to send unlimited it's a little bit more so I'm doing the unlimited um, option and I'm paying I think about $52 a month while I'm on the Pacific Crest Trail and um, then you can just do a month to month thing so if you're not gonna be backpacking for a while after a big through hike or something like that um, you can discontinue the service by month and then um, uh, start it again when you are going on another trip so um, that's really great and I just find that being able to text my loved ones um, wherever I am is uh, really great, especially for them because I have some people who are worried about me. Um, so that gives them peace of mind as well. So again, Garmin inReach is really great. Um, I still have more to learn about this device. I've used it on a couple um, shakedown hikes and it worked really great for the messaging part of it and the tracking part of it, but I think there's a lot more I can do with this, so I am gonna be researching um, before I start, and um, I'll let you guys know what else this can do. <laughs> um, I've just had a lot of other things going on um, just in preparation for this hike, so uh, I know how to use this barely, um, just enough, and I will keep you updated on what else I find um, that is great about this. Okay, next thing for navigation specifically is a compass. I did take a class through REI on how to use a compass and how to navigate using it. Um, I think it's pretty important just to have that background and a lot of people don't carry an actual map on the trail. Uh, I will personally be using the gut hooks guide and it will be on my phone. So um, I won't be either, but if I, um, if I end up getting a map um, as I'm hiking, I will know how to use this with the map. I might send this home if, if I hike 700 miles and never use it, so I will keep you updated with that. Speaking of my phone, I um, am using an iPhone 8 and I do have a waterproof cover on it as well. So that's not shown because I'm obviously, <laughs> I'm using it to film this, but um, it is an iPhone 8. And to charge my iPhone, since it's gonna be my main um, navigation tool, I have an Anchor charger. It's kind of heavy, but I think it's worth the wait. And I know a lot of PCT users, uh, or PCTers use this as well. It's good for, um, I think about seven, charges so that would especially if my phone's on airplane mode that will be um good enough i don't think i'm going more than six or seven days um if all goes well uh, maybe eight if we need to stretch that uh eight days without um, going into town to charge so i think this will get me through um for that so again anchor charger to charge my devices and also this needs to be charged as well so i'll have to charge my phone and my inReach. Okay, and last thing, earphones. So I am probably gonna, I'm not sure, I don't normally listen to music when I go running or whatever, but I've, I'm gonna have a lot of time to myself most likely and I might maybe on a bad day need some music to carry me through <laughs> some bad times. So I decided I am gonna bring earphones, but if I don't end up using them, I will probably send them home. And that is the extent of 
my electronic and navigation system for the Pacific Crest Trail. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to uh, comment below. And also all of these items are linked below as well in the section below the video. So I have all the links there um, so you can go straight to the products.